Today, I share with you how to prepare Christmas meat. You can't wait to see this process on how I get this done. It's so amazing. So begin, I'm going to be bringing the meat that I'm going to be needing. I make use of beef, the same time make use of chicken. So this is me turning everything over inside this big on this big bowl so all i do is to separate everything and mix everything together because that has been in the fridge before now so what i add next is this salt guys so you need salt to first of all wash the meat before you proceed so after adding the salt i'm going to be adding this bowl of water so i'll just add in the water then give that a very very good wash so this is very, very important at this point so use salt to wash the meat at the same time you can as well add in lemon if you can but adding salt is okay so i'm going to be washing that separate the first water then adding another fresh water so this is me after washing that for the first batch this is what it look like so what i do now is to add in another fresh water i get that wash about three to four occasion before i get a nice and lovely outcome so yeah just wash that very very nice before you can proceed so all you have to do is to share this video so this is just the best way to prepare the meat for the family when you get this done everyone around you can easily go and get this to eat like a celebration of christmas is just to eat it now so they have to get something moving in their mouth at this point i'm done washing everything all i do is to transfer that back inside this big pot this is just what it look like so what we need next is this coriander ginger and garlic the center and hot pepper and then i add in scent leaf so what i do is to get that blend together i'm going to use that to season it like this so next i'm going to be adding is chopped onions so that is already ground onions so next is for me to add i add in dry thyme so next i'm going to be adding is this beef seasoning so after adding that i'm going to be adding this curry powder so all this come from odogu food and you don't forget to get yours the same time i'm going to be adding no cube so that is for pieces of no cube so next is for me to add in salt to taste then stir everything together so this seasoning i use just did a great job on this meat guys so that is why you have to get yours from odogu food she deliver worldwide she not only sell seasoning she sell everything concerning food so anything african food stuff she's going to give it to you so just take a number from my comment section and patronize her so this is me missing everything together at this point you don't have to turn this in the heat all you have to do is to cover this to rest for 40 minutes before you can transfer this to the heat so don't carry that to the heat at this point so 40 minutes later look at that oh my god see how this is just settle at this point the meat has marinated so so nice so now it's time to cook i'm going to be adding just one cup of water because this meat is going to cook so amazing so this is me stirring everything together now i'm going to transfer that back inside the heat at this point so this is me turning that over on the heat then let that to cook this is 10 minutes later you just have that first boil so what i do now is to stir that together so i'm going to stir that then cover it again for it to cook final so it's not that hard meat i'm using at this point it cooks so nice so this take me about 40 minutes for this to be ready and trust me it cooks so amazing all i do now is to separate the meat from the stock water like this i'm just going to pack everything out then transfer that back inside this container look at that meat now mm -hmm. so this is the meat stock i keep it aside so what i do now is to transfer the meat back inside this fry oil so you have to fry this meat so that it's going to enable your family to enjoy so guys have you shared this video yet like you need to follow this process to make your christmas meat like prepare christmas meat for your family this christmas season follow this process is going to help you a lot and they're going to appreciate you this is how i'm going to get that fry so i will be stirring that each 30 minutes i'm going to be stirring that so guys this really take time to fry so that take me about 40 minutes to get this particular first batch fry so i get that fry twice so this is the first batch so that's what i'm still frying at this point i just like the color i have to bring this out from the hot oil look at that it's looking so yummy so i have to bring everything out from the oil then the center i add in the last badge it was so nice so this one is the last badge i turn everything over so guys 
all you have to do is to share the seasoning i use the peppers i grant together you need to use that to season your meat before you can cook it to so this extent it's going to let your meat to sweet and come out amazing mm -hmm. see how the last batch fry it fries so so amazing look at that i just love this color so this is me bringing everything from the hot oil because this point we are ready to go like it don't set hey look at that guys it was so so amazing so this is just how you fry this meat this is going to last as long as you want so that is me turning that over inside this bigger bowl because at this point we have to bring everything together look at this meat now wow 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 one thing I like about this meat is the flavor it comes with me seasoning this with this coriander, hot pepper, and scent leaf, and other healthy seasoning I use along. This is just so amazing. All you have to do is to share this video. Just follow this process by getting this meat prepared for your family. After getting this done, just turn that over inside a bowl like this. Just cover and let your family to enjoy this Christmas season. I love you. All you have to do is to share. Don't forget to try this out for your family. In my next one, bye!